Hello, good day to you. My name's Anthony, also known as Hella Artsy Dude. I uh, got something to share with you. I recently purchased a 2002 Freightliner step van. Used to be a Mac Tools truck. I try to turn this thing into a mobile art studio. Here. Got some work to do on it. I'm going to try to give you a walk around view of, of it. It's pretty cool. It's got a uh, shoreline power right there. Got some cooling exhaust. For some there, dually tires, fuel cap needs to be replaced. There. Really excited about this. Here, this back end, you got a uh, 1,600 pound lift, and the previous owner used to have a motorcycle shop inside of it, and so this uh, bracket that he put up here. You add a uh, flat board right here, and then the back tire of the motorcycle would sit on that, and you could lift up a whole motorcycle and put it inside the inside of there. Uh, yeah, somebody buffed off the Mac tools. Then you can see the old wrench. Right there. Right, this is a exhaust port for the propane heater and then there's the propane heater controls right there there's a big huge tank underneath there uh, let's see key here open it up and see i got some uh, oil do oil change, got some wheel chops, need to put those underneath there. Uh, I think the very first modification I'm gonna do is put some of this paint on that gray spot right there. And then Another modification I'm going to do is put this awesome uh, skull bottle opener somewhere aboard, outboard somewhere. I right. uh, got a air filter canister from Freightliner up the street. I plan on uh, using them in mill supply. I recently, uh, since getting into this, I've heard about mill supply for different kind of uh, things you can add to it, replace and upgrade. Uh, it's got a stereo, got a little uh, AC and DC volt center right there. It's got a cool little, this little handle right here is uh, pull it that way, pulls the air out, push it that way, and it pulls air in. When you're driving, got it. I gotta get a new uh, battery. That one's dead. Um, it's got a powerful little fan right here too. And it's got AC up here. Kicks real cold air. A little speaker right there. A little speaker right there. This cool little display box of some sort for something. Uh, drawers. Got the remote for the lift in there. Gotta have your triangles. A little uh, jump seat pass passenger. And then uh, got a 17 foot uh, cargo area, workshop area, whatever it's gonna be. Uh, planning on doing a mobile art studio. In here, let's see, kick on some lights. There's some LED lights that last owner installed and then uh there's these lights right here it's got the ac in the back also kicks real cold this little thing cracks open right there 
let some hot air out you know but it's got all the old loops from the tool truck still in it from uh, they put like pliers and knives and screwdrivers and hose and there it's got this little uh center right there e-track i gotta re remove the e-track and put it other places got little d-rings here in the floor but he had a whole uh hydraulic motorcycle lift sitting perfectly right in the middle of here with a motorcycle on it and there was a, a whole mechanic tool chest right here big one and a tire changing center right here and uh it's got an inverter going on in there so lots of lots of potential here for uh, doing some awesome stuff i can't wait to start serving up some art out of here you know, uh, ucbc is who made the body uh, it's a mt45 with a cummins diesel and an allison transmission a little freightliner tag <laughs> And here's the air filter canister. Had to, you can't just get just the air filter in there. You had to replace this whole this whole thing. So, Mill Supply had one um, for ninety nine dollars, which is not bad. And then a uh, Freightliner, which was only seven miles away from me, actually had one for ninety six dollars. So, I like to support local. Also, you know, but uh, so I got a oil. I'm gonna. I got an oil filter to change there also this front uh brake disc pad is pretty much down to the last part of the groove and, uh, radiator held up real good hose water the ho hose didn't leak i drove it i don't know i can't remember the exact distance it's like 100 miles something uh, it was like it took about two hours uh i got a uh air filter I mean a fuel filter not an air filter excuse me a uh, fuel filter uh, ordered um, Freightliner only had like the whole contraption to replace it didn't have just the just the uh, fuel filter but they actually found one they just didn't have one in stock so it's on its way it's got two different places to put oil in you can do it right there right there and it's a 24 valve Cummins diesel got front brake reservoir and rear brake reservoir right there and this is the hydraulic reservoir right there but you can see the groove in that uh, brake pad real, real thick right there I'm gonna replace the shock absorbers this one still has a rubber on it but uh, the bottom of this one the rubber came out so I guess I could just get the rubber for now but I don't know how they're how they're doing anyhow, so I might as well just replace them. Eventually, you know, I gotta get some a little bit of funds built up for all the extra little tidbits. But yeah, I man, it's uh, pretty cool. It's gonna be a huge blessing to not just me, but family, friends, clients, and all that. You know the be able to get out and about and serve up some nice artwork I do paintings uh, sculpture mural paintings also so hopefully I can use this tailgate I mean this lift gate uh, you know if I can get to a wall that I gotta paint I can raise it and lower it the uh, thing is pretty awesome it, it doesn't just go up to the level of the bumper it'll actually like raise up to about like right here so you can use a step ladder or something to pass that it's got a fiberglass roof so i gotta figure out what to do as far as like don't want to be able to get on the roof and have access to having a sturdy platform roof put uh solar panels and such on there 
Uh, I gotta replace some of the marker lights. The bulbs aren't working. So hopefully it's just the bulb that needs to be replaced. This is not a marker light. This is actually like kind of just a light to light up this area. I guess in the evening or early morning stuff. And then replace some light bulbs up there. The windshield a wiper motor the last owner uh, replaced. It's got a batter, two batteries in there and that one huge starter battery in there. And cool a little vent comes in. There's a control over there that gets the vent coming on. Uh, got this curtain rod in here right now, but there's actually this little panel that sl uh, doesn't really slide, but you can only just put it in place of right here and as it was a door but yep pretty neat I'm excited to share uh, i'll be make trying to make some videos of what i'm doing uh when i'm doing the oil change and the fuel filter change and all that and battery change whatever else i can it's kind of new to filming this kind of stuff you know but hopefully you enjoyed a little tour i didn't ramble on too much all right thank you for checking it out take care